What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on TTOO stock. And in today's uh, video I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we caught this movement to the downside uh, during which this asset lost, uh, let me show you, about uh, 30% of its value to its lowest point and about 17.5% uh, to its current uh, price range. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you several crucial points uh, for this uh, stock uh, that uh, we should be aware of. And at the end of this video I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis and I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this point uh, and I told you that uh, because of uh, this uh, movement to the upside uh, that uh, we basically caught uh, and this movement brought us about 37% uh, of potential profit. At this very point I've told you that uh, most likely we should see a lower price target and I uh, don't see any major movements to the upside. Let me show you that if I pull the Fibonacci uh, retracement tool from this swing high to this swing low. Let's uh, take a look right here. We almost hit the second uh, range of resistance of 0.382 Fib level at the price point of roughly 40 cents. And uh, from this point uh, we went lower. And guys, I have to say that uh, uh, if you take a look on my previous videos, you will find uh, that uh, I made uh, several very lucrative predictions. At this very point I've uh, told you that we might hit uh, this price target. It is the range of uh, previous uh, swing high. And uh, then we went even higher and at this very point I've told you that most likely we should see lower price target and uh, it happened as you can see uh, with this price action. At this very point I've told you that we should retest at least this range of support and uh, most likely we should break it even to the downside. And it happened exactly as I predicted as well. And uh, this point uh, was uh, the range of support from this previous price action. And at this point, I've told you that most likely we should see a movement to the upside. So, uh, one, two, three, four predictions and all of them was successful. And uh, basically this one another, uh, when I made uh, the video not here, but uh, right here. And I've told you that we should see low price targets. And again, it happened exactly as I predicted. That is why you can rely on my technical analysis as a part of your due diligence. So. And uh, let's continue with the fundamental news. I've told you on my previous video that uh, this asset uh, is not so perfect from the fundamental standpoint because uh, it has some uh, problems as usual with this type of uh, biotech companies. It has some problems uh, with uh, their research and development cycle and definitely because of this uh, it has some problems uh, with their sales and with their revenue. And uh, that is why we have to be very cautious but in general their cure is uh, quite promising and it has a very good uh, uh, total addressable market of more than two billion dollars annually and uh, we all know that uh, this company T2 Biosystem is awaiting for the FDA approval of uh, their sepsis treatment and uh, when and if it happens definitely it will push the price of uh, the stock much higher. But also, as you can see right here, this uh, company is trading on the Nasdaq stock exchange and it price, its price is uh, less than one dollar. And let me show you that it has to do something because uh, it doesn't uh, stay in line with the Nasdaq listing rules. And let me show you this news. It was published on the Investor Place just 16 hours ago and it says, Dear TTOO stock fans, mark your calendars for September the 12th. TTOO stockholders uh, can cast votes uh, for nine proposals at the upcoming meeting. And uh, let me go to these bullet points. T2 Biosystem will hold its annual meeting of uh, stockholders on September the 12th. Shareholders will vote uh, on a reverse stock split uh, in a ratio between uh, 1 for 50 and 1 for 150 among other proposals. TTOO stock is down by more than 80% this year. And let me go to further. Shares of T2 Biosystems uh, stock are currently trading below $1. However, the company's upcoming annual meeting of stockholders seeks uh, to resolve this. Shareholders uh, will be eligible to vote uh, on a total of uh, 9 proposals by September 11th uh, at 11.59 pm Eastern Time. Specifically, 
Proposal number one seeks uh, approval for a gross stock split in a ratio between 1 for 50 and 1 for 150. If approved, T2's uh, board will choose the reverse split ratio. The board will also have the power to abandon the reverse uh, split if uh, it chooses to. Still, abandoning the reverse split does not uh, seem like an ideal decision, as T2 is currently in non-compliance with NASDAQ's minimum price requirement of $1 mark. The diagnostics company has until November the 20th for its shares to close at or above $1 for at least 10 consecutive business days, but generally no more than 20 consecutive business days. And this is a very important part. Who will decide uh, about uh, 10 or 20 business days? And let me show you this rule. It is a rule, uh, let's, uh, let me quote it for you. Marketplace rule 4310C8E states that Nasdaq may, in its discretion, require an issuer to maintain a bid price of at least $1 per share for a period in excess of 10 consecutive business days but generally no more than 20 consecutive business days before determining that the issuer has demonstrated an ability to maintain long-term compliance. In determining whether to monitor bid price beyond 10 business days, Nasdaq shall consider the following four factors. 1. Margin of compliance, the amount by which the price is above $1 mark minimum standard. 2. Trading volume, a lack of trading volume may indicate a lack of bona fide market interest in the security at the posted bid price. 3. The market maker montage. The number of market makers uh, quoting uh, at or above $1 at the size of their quotes. And 4. The trend of the stock price. Is it up or down? And uh, this is the most important part, because if we take a look uh, on a bigger picture of this asset, if we zoom out to a daily time frame, uh, you will see that uh, this asset is in consistent downtrend for a very long period of time. And that is why most likely uh, we might anticipate 20 days of uh, compliance, 20 days of uh, trading that should be above $1 mark. And uh, if so, uh, the deadline for the reverse stock split uh, should be not uh, November the 10th, but it should be November the 1st. And uh, this uh, leads uh, to the conclusion that we have uh, about uh, one and a half months till it happens. And uh, definitely today's uh, announcement of uh, the shareholders uh, meeting is uh, very important because uh, de depending on the results uh, of uh, this meeting, we will see some uh, news, some updates uh, regarding its reverse stock split. And if this asset doesn't uh, receive uh, FDA approval uh, for its treatment, definitely it will be forced to reverse split its stock. And this uh, will bring more bearish pressure on uh, the share price. On top of that, uh, basically we have two trading sessions uh, till the shareholders meeting. And uh, this means uh, these two sessions uh, will not uh, be so positive, in my opinion, if we will not see any bullish news regarding this uh, company. And uh, as you can see, on the pre-market hours, it is already down for about 5.75%. Uh, That's why you have to be very cautious uh, with uh, your position. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, what should we expect next? I have to say that uh, we caught a lot of movements of uh, this asset previously and uh, my main assumption for now is just uh, to patiently wait because uh, most likely uh, for the uh, next uh, two sessions uh, we will see more bearish pressure on this asset and depending on the price action if this asset breaks uh, this bottom and if it breaks uh, this bottom as well we will confirm uh, the longer uh, period of consolidation and uh, potentially lower price action. That is why you have to be cautious and for now I don't suggest you to enter any position with this asset because it is just too risky at this very moment. So I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time. Bye!